When a lender declines or counters your subprime customers for a particular vehicle, that doesn't mean that they won't finance them for any vehicle. The lender may simply want less risk. That's where your LTV sheet comes into play. Take a quick look at your LTV sheet and find a vehicle that has a higher ACV, then check with the lender to see if this better LTV vehicle will turn their decline or counter into an approval. How do you build the LTV sheet? Well, popular dealership softwares, one example would be V-Auto, do this for you. Uh, they typically have a way to sort by highest to lowest ACV value or your sales manager may already keep such a list that you can use. If your dealership does not have this software and your sales manager does not keep such a list, it may be up to you to book out each car, find the value, and build your own. First thing you'll see on this side is a chart. It's gonna list the stock number, your make of your vehicle, your model of your vehicle, your sale price, your book out. And then over here, you'll have a, an LTV calculator which is going to help you determine the LTV if you don't want to, you know, use your brain power at that moment, okay? So let's do an example. We're going to put our stock number in. Let's say it's, uh, it doesn't matter what it is, but, and let's say it's a Ford Escape. Uh, let's sell it for, how about $14,995? Now, we got to get our book out, right? Our book out goes right there. Our book out is the ACV, the actual cash value of the car, the, the market value of the vehicle, okay? And the way most dealerships get that, most banks prefer you to get that, is by using NADA retail or loan values. So we're going to go over to Dealer Track, which does all of our bookouts for us. We're going to enter the options on the card it has fog lights, navigation, parking, keyless entry. We're going to click calculate, and it's going to give us the NADA trade value, which is twelve thousand three hundred dollars. So now that we have that, we can go over. We can put our twelve thousand three hundred dollars right there. Now, uh, our bookout's already in there, 12300 and our amount finance. How do we get our amount finance? Now, the number one mistake students make with this LTV sheet is they assume the sale price is the amount finance. That's two different things, okay? But how do we get our amount finance? Well, you're going to use your, uh, your your dealership's DMS software, whatever it is. In this case, we're going to be using dealer track, okay? We're going to take our sale price of $14,995. Let's say our customer's putting $1,000 down. Now, after taxes and fees and so forth, their amount finance comes to 15432 That's when you add $14,995, $11.99 for taxes, $237 for fees, and then you take away the $1,000 down. You get $15,432 for your amount financed. So over here, $15,432, and you'll see our LTV calculation is 125%. Again, your book out's twelve thousand three hundred. Your amount finance is fifteen four three two, and your LTV calculation is one hundred and twenty five percent. Now, some of you may be asking, well, why do they include the sale price in here if it's not included in the chart? Because why don't well, why not just put the amount finance in this in this column right here? Well, the answer is simple, because depending on what the customer is putting as a down payment depends on what the amount financed is. For example, if this customer had a fifteen hundred dollar trade with this vehicle. Now, the amount finance is thirteen eight twelve. You have to go back over here, 13, 8, 12, and now the LTV is 112%. That's a big difference. It's, you know, 13% difference. So it wouldn't make sense to put the amount of finance in this column because it's going to change for each and every customer how much money they're putting down, whether there's a trade, whether there's negative equity, etc. So the point of putting the sale price and the book price is you, you can quickly see whether you're going to be in a good equity position regardless of how much the customer is putting down. For example, this Jeep Grand Cherokee, the sale price is $19,900, and the book is $20,100. So as long as the customer is putting down enough money for taxes and fees, you're going to be under 100% because the book is more than what you're selling it for. So you already know that the bank's going to like this car. As long as the customer can afford it, as long as their income's high enough, the bank's going to like this car because the value of the car when they drive off a lot is more than what they owe the bank. So the bank had to repossess it. They had to take it back. If, if we were to get into an accident, they're definitely going to get their money back. Okay. And that's the real importance of this LTV sheet. You're going to want to put cars on here that either book for more than you're selling them or book close to what you're selling them. For example, 12300 book and 14995 sell price. That's pretty close, especially considering if customers putting a thousand or two thousand dollars down, you're going to be almost even. Okay. All right. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, if you have any questions,
feel free to put a comment down below and we will uh, explain further. But um, otherwise, go ahead and download this free LTV sheet right below this video. Thank <laughs> you.